Brittany Renner went on Shannon Sharp's show and told him she has 35 partners previously and the internet is in a motherfucking melee. guys it's jovi and welcome back to my channel so listen i want to talk to y'all about britney renner and her going on i think it's club shay shay shannon sharp's um interview show that he has on youtube and like the like these men are losing their minds can we talk about this first of all i'm gonna be honest with you I don't care how much people Brittany Renner has slept with. I would, I would play it, but I'm not going to play it. Like, it's a video of Shannon when he, she told him he's taking a shot and he opening a bottle to take a drink because he's such in shock. When he is or was an extremely successful football player, and you already know he didn't bust down more than 35 women in his freshman year of college. Okay, let alone his whole year co years in college, let alone his whole time as an NFL player, but let alone like the but has the audacity to try to judge Britney or any other woman for having more than three sexual partners. This is one of the reasons I've always thought like. Even back in the day, I've really always, like, I don't tell those, that information. Don't even ask me that sort of information. I think it's weird. If a man asks you that sort of information, to me, that's a red flag. Because, like, what does it matter? The only question that you should be asking me regarding my sexual conquest, okay, is if I'm having sex with anybody as of now, if we are in a sexual relationship. I can I can deal with that if you want to ask me if we are, if I'm messing with somebody else, right? Because that's all I really care about you because I really don't need to know how many hundreds of people or a lot of these men don't have hundreds, but how many people you have previously slept with in the past. It doesn't matter. Are you get your cooch queen? Do you go and get STD tests? Because a lot of women do, okay? A lot of these men are out here with one, two, 300, what they love to call bodies, which is really weird, but whatever, you know, and they've been to the doctor like twice. They've been to the doctor like twice. They have this whole thing in their mind. One of the boy maths was, you know, he has five girlfriends and they're all clean. So he doesn't need to get checked. They do shit like that, but have the audacity to judge a woman if she has sex with more than one person. You know, if she had sex with more than, you know, three people, she's a horrible slut. Or you want to come at Brittany Renner asking her about her sexual, about what she's previously done in the past. Like, what does that have to do with the price of tea in China? And what the fuck does that have to do with you? Especially when you are out here or you have been out here as a freaking male celebrity and has probably had 10 times as many women as she has, has, as she has had men. Why are you so surprised? Why are we even falling into the bullshit of having to of having to it feeling like you have even have to explain that shit to men? I remember back in the day, I, I was like 18 years old. It was a bunch of us just standing on the corner being ghetto. You know, this is when I was dating a drug dealer. I only dated one drug dealer in my life, child, for like six months. The nigga didn't have a future, so I left. Anyway. But we were all sitting on the corner and it was like three girls, three, four girls, and like four or five dudes. We were just sitting on the corner while these niggas were selling drugs. We were stupid. Okay. I was stupid back then. Anyway. And like people started asking, like they started asking these girls, like all the girls, like I wasn't there. I was, um, their body counts. And these women started answering. These different women started answering like, and then, you know, they came to me and I just, mind you, I'm dating one of them. I just looked at them like they were crazy. And, when, and his friend was like, oh, she ain't going to answer that. She ain't going to answer that. He already knew. He still, he, now well, it might be because the niggas know, know I'm uppity or whatever. You know, I used to be, you know, I was a little ghetto, you know, I was a little uppity, you know, and I'm just like, that's even, 
I feel like that is beneath me for you to ask me some dumbass question like that. How much partners have you had? And even if you tell me, I'm still not going to tell you how much partners that I've had because that's none of your goddamn business. And that is just a, a, a way of trying to set women up to some, you know, oh, she's only had two or three partners. So I'm going to try to keep her here, fuck her life up, cheat on her, give her AIDS because I'm running around fucking everybody else and feeling like I can do whatever to her because she ain't never going to leave me because she don't want her body count because she's trying to keep her numbers low. Are these niggas out here trying to keep their numbers low? Get the fuck out of here. I'm tired of it. I am just, I'm, I'm actually disappointed as hell in Britney, in Britney for even feeling the need to answer that question. Maybe she felt like, you know, whatever, that question ain't, you know, it ain't have no power over her or whatever. And that's cool or whatever. But, you know, it, these niggas are literally having think pieces. About, you know, well, you know, when a woman says 35, double it by, triple it by. And it's like, they ain't never going to be happy. They're never going to be like, and, and fuck them being happy at the end of the day. Fuck them being happy at the end of the day. When are you going to decide that you are too good to be answering some dumbass questions from these dumbass niggas? And I'm done. I hope you live your life like it's golden. Don't answer these stupid ass niggas questions. Red flag alert. Red flag.